Hi, Dan. Let, let me just give you a quick backstory on this. Of course, Huawei it was put on a U.S. blacklist in May, known as the Entity List. That essentially uh, restricted American companies from selling to Huawei. The company was then given a 90-day reprieve, and that reprieve ends today. Now, there were reports over the weekend suggesting the Trump administration would extend the reprieve for Huawei, but President Donald Trump has actually uh, muddied the water somewhat, sending out mixed messages. Let's listen in to what he had to say. Ultimately, we don't want to do business with Huawei for national security reasons. We'll see what happens. I'm making a decision tomorrow. It could be temporary, could be, and maybe not. But we're going to make a decision tomorrow. So President Trump, they're saying some sort of decision would come today. Now, he really has three options. They could either remove Huawei completely from the blacklist, keep Huawei on that blacklist without any reprieve, or the third, perhaps most likely option, is to keep Huawei on that blacklist but offer an extension to the reprieve. That's what the reports over the weekend are suggesting. Now, Huawei, of course, uh, relies heavily on American technology, it uses American software from Google and Microsoft in its consumer electronics products. It also relies on components uh, from many ma uh, American manufacturers as well for its consumer electronics products as well as its telco uh, networking equipment. So um, very much uh, relying on, on U.S. tech, but it has been uh, focusing a lot more on its own homegrown technology from chips and also recently revealing its own operating system, which will be on uh, TVs. They said that they don't want to use the operating system for smartphones just yet, but could if they were ultimately restricted uh, from uh, using American technology in the long run. So there's a lot riding on this decision for President Trump for Huawei, and the company no doubt will be watching the president's words very closely today. Guys, back to you. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.